Please welcome Salim Abubakar. He's from Biomedical Engineering, and his supervisor is Dr. Tannen Schmidt. Salim's 3MT talk title is Lubricin, That Stuff is on Everything, Potential Biotherapeutic Applications of Recombinant Human Lubricin. Lubricin, as the name suggests, it's a lubricating molecule and it's a protein. It's pretty much found everywhere in the body where two tissues rub against each other and require lubrication, such as between your eyelids and your eyeballs, your tongue and your cheek, your lungs and your rib cage, and in the case of my research, in synovial joints such as the knee. Now there are two key aspects to good lubrication in synovial joints. The articular cartilage, which lines the ends of your bones, and synovial fluid, which is the fluid that's encapsulated in the joint and helps lubricate the joint in a similar manner as oil would help lubricate gears in your car. Now in diseases such as osteoarthritis, the articular cartilage starts to break down. Now cartilage can't actually repair itself, so over a period of time, it does lead to a bone-on-bone -bone interaction, which is very painful and debilitating for patients suffering from this disease. Now, osteoarthritis affects 4.4 million Canadians and costs $27.5 billion to the Canadian economy every year. And it's not just an old people's disease, as many people may think. For example, those of you who've had extreme injuries to your joints, such as a severe ligament injury, are pretty much guaranteed to get osteoarthritis later on in life. So the focus of my research is to try and replenish the lubricating ability of cyanuric fluid so that we can try and tackle osteoarthritis at an early stage and avoid invasive, injury, inv invasive surgeries such as an artificial joint replacement. So in cyanuric fluid, there are two key lubricants, lubricin and another molecule called hyaluronin. Now hyaluronin is actually used as an injectable treatment for early oste osteoarthritis treatment by trying to replenish the lubricating ability of cyanuric fluid. However, it's actually been found that the lubricating molecule leaves the joint within a matter of days, even though it does provide pain-free uh, relief for nearly a month. So this poses a question. How does these injections work, and does the hyaluronin injections actually prevent any further cartilage damage? Now, studies done with lubricin have actually found that the lubricin molecule can actually stay within the joint for nearly a month, and it does prevent cartilage damage. Not only that, in our lab, we've actually found that even though hyaluronin and lubricin lubricate pretty well on their own, the combination of the two lubricate even better, close to that of whole synovial fluid. So how do we translate this knowledge to human application? Well, a lot of the studies we've done so far have been done with animal models. For example, the lubricin that we produce in our lab is from cow knees. Now, we can't go around injecting patients with osteoarthritis with cow lubricin because that wouldn't go down too well with institutes such as the FDA. So our lab is in a unique position as we are one of the only labs in the world that has access to a human version of this lubricin protein. So the idea for this product would be to add this to the current hyaluronin injections and improve the efficacy of these treatments, therefore replenishing the lubricating ability of cyanuric fluid, slowing the breakdown of articular cartilage, and improving the overall quality of life of patients suffering from osteoarthritis. Thank you very much.